it's Spacey Sims, and we are here with the first episode of Over the Rainbow, which is our Rainbow Legacy Challenge that I am doing. Rainbow Sea, if you will. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm very excited about this. It should be a lot of fun. Um, I have done Rainbow Legacies in... Well, I did it in The Sims 3, um, and that's where kind of... I don't have like a link to a challenge or anything, because there isn't actually a version of this challenge that was created for The Sims 4. I am kind of doing mine based off what I remember from The Sims 3 version. I have no idea where the rules to that are or anything like that. Um, you basically have to use custom content, though, in order to do this, because you are basically going through the rainbow. So I'll explain everything um, as we go this you know me, I cannot do intros for brand new series. I have no idea where to start, and I don't know what's wrong with me. You'd think I'd have gotten this down by now after 7,000 LPs and different series and everything that we have done, but <laughs> I cannot. Anyway, so I am actually going to let this play while we go through this. Um, this is Sterling Gray. Sterling Gray. Sterling Silver. Sorry. Sterling Silver. He is our founder. He will be our first sim, obviously. So with the Rainbow Legacy, what you do is you start with a sim who is basically gray or white or all black. Like you pick something. It could be gray, white, black, like a combo, whatever. Um, they're basically like bland. They're colorless. There is absolutely, you know, whatever. And you slowly, it over the generations, marry in other sims that are colors of the rainbow. So for example... Sterling Silver could marry a girl that is all red. Everything, her hair, her skin tone, her clothing, eyes, everything is red. And then they have a child that would be a combination of the red and the silver color. Then the next child, so say they have a son. He marries a girl that's orange. Everything about her is orange. And then... Then their child would have the silver, red, and orange. And would slowly, as you go through the generations, they become these crazy, colorful, wacky, you know. And you just kind of see how the colors pull in to the generations as you go. Um, there's no set rule on, except for starting with a monotone kind of sim. They're all basically monotone, if you think about it. But, like, silver, like, gray, white, something like that. Um, except for... Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, there's no rules with how the generations have to go. So you don't do red, orange. You don't have to go through the rainbow like that. Um, but you have to obviously marry them into a sim of a totally different color. And you only use the colors once. So it's kind of a shorter legacy if you think about it. Because Sterling would marry a girl say, who's red. Generation 2 marries orange. 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, whatever. Um and you go through the colors of the rainbow. As you can tell, uh, our thumbnail for this is all gray right now because Sterling is all gray. Everything about him is gray. Everything in his apartment is gray. This apartment was pretty much furnished like this and I just removed anything. This has got a little bit of blue in it, don't mind that. But I pretty much tried to change everything that had any hint of color. I probably should change that rug. Um, so that it's pretty much as gray and bland as you can get. And as we marry in, and that's the same thing with the thumbnail, him, everything is just neutral. As we marry in the colors, we'll start adding that color into the furnishings in the house. Um, it's not going to be perfect, because obviously we can't, like, with toddler beds, put, uh, it's, go it's all pig, it might be slightly off. You know what I mean? Um, we'll do the best we can to add just a random color in. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to change this rug because it's bothering me because I see a little hint of blue and that's not what we're going for. Um, but so we're going to do that and we're doing the same thing with the thumbnail. So I worked really hard on this thumbnail. <laughs> like it may not seem like it, um, but it is set up so that as we go through the generations and as we add in the colors, the thumbnail will change. So when we add in red, all of the colors that are in that thumbnail that are red, any shades of red will then show up. So it will be, and then same for orange and yellow and all that sort of stuff. So the thumbnail will progress over time from being all gray like it is now to being full color. So it's going to look a little gaudy because over the rainbow is also <laughs> going to be rainbow colored. 
<laughs> and it looks tacky as I'll get out, but I love it anyway. Um, I was really working on the background. That's what I really wanted. Uh, but I actually had a lot of fun uh, doing that. I'm just trying to find a freaking rug that's going to work in here that's, like, not, like, really tiny or, like, colored. And I'm, like, losing my mind over here. So, like, do we have something that's, like, this one's neutral. Let's just use this one. This will work. That's fine. It's perfect. It works. Anyway, so yeah. So for Sterling, what we're going to do, the first color that we're going to introduce uh, is going to be pink. Because I've actually created three Sims. Uh, three lovely ladies who are all shade, different shades of pink. So they're all slightly different with their skin tone, hair, and everything, and their personalities. So we'll have him kind of meet them, get to know them, and then we'll kind of have a vote with you guys to which one of those ladies you want him to bring in. And then... As we go through the series, we'll do, like, okay, so then you guys pick whatever color comes next um, and stuff like that. So, so we'll do, we'll do that. But we will start with pink. And then, like, so say they have, like, two kids. We can pick whichever one of the kids we want. And if it's a, if it's a girl and we need to create male sims and you guys say, okay, we'll do yellow next. Then we'll, I'll create a couple of guys that are yellow and we'll introduce them in and stuff like that. So... And what is he trying to do? What is he trying to do? Go here. You're, you're tweaking out on me, boy. Okay, good. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway. Oh. Sorry, I'm having allergy issues. Was at a friend's house. Didn't take allergy pill till an hour later than I normally do. So, paying for it. Uh, you've heard this if you watch any of my other series this week, so you know this. Um, invite neighbors in. I don't know why they're here. We're the only person in this building. Oh, so anyway, this apartment, if you haven't seen it in, um, what's it called? Uh, if you haven't played with San Shuno or used it yourself, this is the apartment. It's two bedrooms, so... I think uh, the only complication of that is it's like only two bedrooms, but it seems pretty big. We can probably adjust it and whatnot. It's got this huge downstairs area, which we can like slowly adjust over time. I'm pretty sure this, this is like our total private apartment. We have our own private. I mean, this is, it was great because it was already freaking gray and I have never used this apartment. So I figured I would. So that's what we're going to do. You can invite them in, you know. This is really weird. But anyway, what I figured today I would do with the naming conventions, because I kind of wanted to, like, name everybody after colors, like, use color kind of names. I think what I'm really actually planning is, like, obviously Sterling Silver, and then, like, uh, all of the females that are pink all have kind of pink themed names and I'll probably do that for the sims we introduce but the children we can just name whatever the hell we want if we want to keep it kind of colors or flowers or something I don't know you know what I mean I think we'll just name them whatever we want and we're not going to worry about the colors just because there's not a lot of names that work I mean and plus I mean when you think about it like so he marries a girl that's pink the kid's going to be pink and gray well, what the hell? Like, we can't... You know what I mean? Like, we can kind of, I guess, name um, anything we want, or we can just pick any kind of color, whether it's matches their color. You know what I mean? Like, like we can name a... Ruby doesn't have to be used for somebody that's red. You know? Um, But it's a little difficult. I've written out a bunch of different things that we can name. Uh people if you think of any other ones because i actually literally went through and like was looking at like different names of colors and like obviously like there's bubblegum pink we're not gonna name a kid bubblegum like taffy is a version of I think pink or orange i can't really remember you know and so i've got that down so we've got different things that are kind of uh, names like sun, like sun is like a yellowy orange color. So hey, you're there. You go. We can name somebody sun. Um, I can like so. I have a ton. If there's any other ones that you think of that are like even if they're names of colors that would be like obviously like green, like forest is a type of green. We all know that. Admiral is a type of blue. I think it's not 
Is it the movie? That is so loud, man. Uh, where'd Lily go? Where the hell is she? She's playing on her computer like a weirdo. Anyway, um, so, you know, like, things like that. We can use that. It doesn't have to be, like, cream or something. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, any kind of things like that. Like, hey, Admiral Blue is a type of blue. We could use that. Like, I have Cerulean. Like, we can name them like that, or we could just stick that with the names of the sims that we marry into the family and that our kids can have whatever name. I have a long page long list of names uh, though prepped and ready to go so you know I forget when I named the lovely ladies. We can actually have him when the welcome wagon ends we can have him go over there and meet them. I kind of wish the welcome wagon was a little over now but I don't want to be rude. I forget where I put them. <laughs> I really do forget where I put them. They should be in town. I hope I put them in here otherwise. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. So it's a short legacy. You know, so seven generations-ish, technically. Because he's going to marry Pink in the next one. Yeah, so it's something like that. Um. So, short for me, and, you know, but we'll have lots of uh, opportunity to post in. There's really no other plot or purpose. It's just to see how the genetics play out, and when we get down to the last child born and the last generation or the last couple kids, whatever, and be like, let's see all the random colors and see do they have anything that's gray in them? Do they have anything blue? And there might... There might be a little bit of adjustment needed because, of course, you know, depending on the custom content, uh, the way the custom skin tones that I have work, if you have, say, the gray sim, um, let's just use this board here as, like, pretend if we're in CAS and you can see the colors. So here's gray and say here's the pink. If blue is in between the gray and the pink, the child could be born with any of the skin tones in here. So if this color right here is blue, they could be blue. So that's going to be a little weird. Um, so it's going to be a little odd. We're probably going to have to adjust them as we go uh, just because of that. Um, so, yeah, we don't want to have like... The, it, as we add generations, it's not going to be as weird. Like, oh, hey, we have gray, pink, and blue, and then the kid comes out blue or a bluish... I mean, they could even come out a purple color, technically, if you think about it, because... Red and blue make purple, and pink and blue would make a purpley kind of color. But, you know, he's a romantic. Oh, that's true. While we are waiting for this to go through, let's meet Sterling and actually show you all of his stuff. So he has the soulmate aspiration, because obviously we're starting on a lovely legacy, and he needs to work on that. He is neat, he's a perfectionist, and he is romantic. So... Okay, bye, thanks. Okay, cool. Let's let's travel. Let's have him travel and find our lovely pink ladies. We're going to go by ourselves. Who the hell that other lady is that we met? I don't know. There's some other woman in his box. <laughs> in the thing. Like, you didn't meet that woman, though. Only Lily Fang came over and those two dudes. Like, I almost poked my bird with my pencil. And then I smacked my microphone. Sorry! Sorry! Oh, come on. Oh, let's go. I'm sorry, my allergies are really starting to kill me. Oopsie! See that? You probably didn't. I plugged my phone in because the battery's dying. That took long enough. Let's see, where did I freaking put them? I don't remember where I put them, to be honest with you. I know I put them... Actually, I think I put them in... Oasis Springs. I think I put them in this one house down here. Is it this house? No. It wasn't that one. No, where did I put them? <laughs> Watch, I didn't put them in here at all. That'd be terrible. No. 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 Did I not put them in the game? That would be quite interesting. I don't remember putting them in here. No. No. There's nobody living over here. These guys are the people that came with the game. 
They wouldn't be in there. Did I put them in San My Journal? Maybe I left them in San My Journal. No, those ones. No, no. Oh crap! All right, you know what? Let's just <laughs> let's just go to Manage Worlds for a second. I didn't mean to do that. That's me stupid. Um. Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> We're going to spend half of the game. I Maybe I didn't put them in. I don't even remember. I know I made them. So, wow. This is... This is really taking a long time. I have not had it take this long in a while. So, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes here. My God, it's killing me, though. Do, 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 do. Let's go household management. Unplayed. Oh. <gasps> Are they not? Oh, these are all not in world. Uh, they wouldn't. Uh... Holy goddamn shit. Why is it taking so long? This is really freaking sucky. I don't think that I did not put them in the world. Oh, lovely. That's me, not putting them in the world. I guess they're not in here. Hey! Hey, rainbow -y. No, I guess I didn't put them in. Oops! What is wrong with me? I swear I put them in, but... They're obviously not, because these are all... Nope, okay. Well, let's go into... Uh, my gallery? This is gonna take goddamn forever. I don't know. And I'll come back because this is just taking too damn long and it's gonna take 20 minutes to do this. So I'll be right back. Okie dokie, guys. We're back. So I put them in here. Oh my god. There's a, the, one of the apartments in here I want to aspire to live to. It's got like four bedrooms. It'd be perfect. Um, I almost put them in there thinking that like we can move in with them and then kick the other two ladies out that we don't want to choose between, or we could have just put them all four of them in that. This apartment was perfect because everything was already kind of already all gray. So it was just, I was lazy. Um, but eh. so anyway, we're going to come here and meet these ladies. Hopefully they're all home. I'd like to point out that their household name is the Pink Ladies. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we have Rose Quartz, <laughs> Opera Mauve, uh, because that was the name of a color, not because Opera is a pink, but Opera Mauve is a color, and Cameo Pink. So there we go. So let's check them out. So I'm mean, actually going to let's zoom in on their faces. So you can see the lovely ladies. So this is Rose Quartz. She's actually really cute. This is Opera. So they're all like slightly different and have different shades of pink for hair and skin tone and everything. So they're all a little bit different. And the Cameo, stop moving. Girl, stop moving. And then this is Cameo. So she's like freaking magenta. So yeah. So we will get to know them. And we'll have him. Uh, flirty introduction. Let's flirty introduce ourselves to all these. I love how the fact that he walks in and he's instantly flirty. He's like, there's a lot of ladies in this house. I'm flirty. <laughs> three bedrooms. I just picked a three bedroom house. These poor guys. I'll just swap around who sleeps in twin beds. Gruba. Mm. <laughs> So then we will get to know all of them. Get to know. And after we introduce ourselves to her, we'll get to know. So, of course, as you see, everything that they're wearing is, like, pink colored and everything like that. So. We will see uh, what you guys want to do, like, with the child that's born. Can we, we, do you want to just dress it in whatever the hell? We don't have to worry about the colors, or do we only do pink or grays? Like, you know, what do you want to do with that? Um, sorry, I almost just sneezed. I did sneeze, but I almost sneezed, Ella. 
Um, but you know what I mean? Oh, she doesn't seem to like us. Interesting. Do we get to know her? I don't think we're getting to know these ladies like I told you to get to know them. She's a music lover. Okay, I forget what I actually... Okay, so let's go in. We'll get to know them. I kind of forget the personality traits that I gave them, but uh, okay. So, Opera is squeamish. Rose is a music lover. And Cameo is creative. So they all have different personalities. Uh, none of them... They have no two traits the same. So we'll kind of get to know that he's... No, honey, you can't go on the computer. you got to talk to these ladies. Gossip. Discuss interests. She's going to play on the computer. Gossip with her, I guess. I don't know. Steve Charso Denoy. Lizarak. Lagisi. Ah, Lavina. We could potentially, now that we're actually hanging out with the ladies, we can ask them each on dates um, and go on a date with each one of them. So each for like, say, the next three episodes, we can say, ask out one of the girls, next girl, whatever, and get to know them that way. Um, and then kind of make the decision. I'm so sorry. My allergies are really catching up to me. And then make the decision on who we want to be with based on that. Um, but for now, we'll just have him kind of chat with them. I'm sorry. I'm going to die. Holy crap. Insult. Wow. So we're just going to ask about careers. None of them have jobs, so that's okay. I just put them in the world like literally five minutes ago, so they have not a chance to get jobs. Hey, no way! Oh my god, I can't stop sneezing. Oh, and I'm so behind in recording, and it's not even funny. <laughs> I have so much stuff to do. Wow. Oh, my head's starting to hurt too, but. So yeah, I'm actually going to, this is a kind of shorter part, I'm going to wrap this up here with him getting to know the ladies. So we'll start going on dates. If you have a preference on who he should ask out first, let me know. Um, but we'll probably have him go on dates with them. So in the next episode, we'll kind of start that, and then we'll do that for the next couple of weeks, give him a little bit of time, and then, uh, you know, th that'll help him get to know them a little better and see who he bonds with. Um, it doesn't even have to be a date. We can just hang out with them, like ask them to go on like an outing before we ask on dates if you want. Uh, so let me know kind of your preference. Do we do a date? Do we just take one of them out to hang out? Um, and like just go on a group out, go somewhere not on a date. We could always do a date that's not. Um, no, you can't not do the dates as counted. You know what I mean? Like, where they give you goals and stuff to do. So, yeah, we can do dates, whatever. Uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. I hope you have enjoyed this so far and enjoy the idea of the challenge and what we're going to be doing. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.